Now, I do want to say that for those of you who just don't, um, they haven't been paying attention up to this point, I put a dozier in decor that is outstanding. And the final draft, mm, mm. <laughs> it lays everything out as to how we should do regulations for federally descheduling marijuana specifically including safety issues because you know when you make the rick simpson oil or you know there's also the hash you if you don't know how to do this process correctly you can blow stuff up so because of that we need regulations for safety not just that we need it regulated so we know how much medication we get when we're taking our marijuana medication we need um, te more testing done so that we know which uh, medications marijuana interacts with um, so we can understand better what it does and understand the side effects to it better. We also need more long-term testing, especially where kids are concerned because they see a lot of promise, especially with epilepsy and Parkinson's where marijuana is concerned. However, without the testing, to back that that data up they just they're deadlocked we need funding for that we also need to have a realistic goal as far as what we're going to do agriculturally i put in my my uh plan how we could use how we could tax marijuana and use that for immigration um uh, control so that we could have more immigrants come in and and work um, uh, our land with us. There's so much that I put, that I made suggestions for. Also for, uh, medical, uh, stuff as far as animal care goes, what we're supposed to do as far as labeling for, um, food products and all kinds of other stuff, how we can get the FDA and the, um, DEA involved because we still got issues with marijuana with addiction. Um, and there are still some side effects to people that just shouldn't be on it, especially when you start talking about the higher doses for cancer. We have to have a system set up because the higher doses, it can knock you out uh, of the Rick Simpson oil, the more concentrated version of the marijuana. These are things that we need to regulate, not just because of our health is safety, for, our, but also for the health and safety of others around us. We should know what secondhand marijuana smoke does. For some people, it's good, and some people, it's bad. And we need to figure out which people it's good and bad for. We can't do that without regulation. That's what I put into my um, my dozer and my final draft. And I think I did a pretty good job. I hope I did. Everybody will see it soon. I hope. I've got a copy of it, just in case Mr. Woods didn't give it up. Because um, I keep copies of everything. I snapshot everything. All my documents. All my audio tape. I multiply copy. I have, I have multiple copies of everything. So I didn't lose anything. Even when people were trying to steal my documents. I also have other sources that have full, complete versions of my documents that came directly from court. So I'm pretty set on my case as far as all that goes. Everything's documented, which is why they allowed me to press forward, I'm sure. Anyway, um, I wish everybody a blessed evening. Peace out!